Uh, look, something to bear in mind with uh, whenever someone's having breast implant surgery or breast implants being put into place, and be it for cosmetic reasons or reconstructive reasons, um, is that there is always the potential for ongoing maintenance uh, with those implants. And what that means in general terms is that at some stage down the track, um, you, know, you know, patients should expect uh, to at least be having a conversation about the potential need for more surgery. Um, there is no specific time limit on these. So, you know, in the old days, people used to talk about, uh, you know, your implants have been in for 10 years plus, so, you know, we need to remove them or revise them. That no longer applies if the implants are healthy. Um, but I think it's still uh, relevant to bear in mind what you're looking for um, when you have breast implants and what the overall health of these implants should be like. Um, certainly, uh, the common potential issues that can happen uh, with breast implants is that the overall feel of the breast uh, can change. So you can get the capsule, which is the normal body's reaction to having a silicon breast implant in place. Um, that lining that the body makes can go hard and change uh, over time. Um, and the consequence of that uh, can range from absolutely nothing, meaning that the breast might just feel a little bit more firm, but if it's not bothering someone, uh, if the breast still looks appropriate and aesthetic, then nothing necessarily needs to be done. All the way through to the breast changing in shape in an in a unpleasant sort of way, or uh, even through to pain and tenderness. And obviously, if someone has pain and tenderness because of this uh, problem, then uh, you know that's a a proper indication for um, surgery to revise the implants. Um, as time has gone on as well and as our experience with using implants has, has increased, um, there, there is a rare but uh, well described entity called BIA ALCL, so Breast Implant Associated Anaplastic Large Cell Lymphoma. Um, that mouthful, in essence, is just um, a, a lymphoma, which is a blood-borne cancer that is associated with textured uh, breast implants. Um, whilst we don't know the exact causes uh, for ALCL, um, there is clear evidence to suggest that the rougher the texturing of the implant, the higher the risks of, uh, of getting ALCL. Um, the uh, most people who get ALCL, well firstly it's a rare problem, but most people who are diagnosed with it um, do very well, um, but they need to have surgery to have the implant removed and have the capsule excised as well. Um, so in terms of what things to look out for uh, with the overall health of your breast implants, um, and the, the, the main symptom or sign of concern would be swelling in the uh, breast. Um, so if someone were to get a swelling, especially only on, only on one side rather than both sides, for no particular reason. So, you know, they're well and truly down the track from surgery, which is, you know, six to 12 months plus down the track from surgery. If there's been no history of trauma or any issues at all, and for whatever reason, out of the blue, a breast swells up, then that is um, an absolute reason to at least go see your GP, if not the surgeon who placed the implants or a plastic surgeon. Um, and uh, further investigations uh, should be arranged by your doctor um, if in, in that situation. Um, but you know, if, if apart from swelling, if there's any changes in the colour of the breasts uh, or any uh, new aches and pains associated um, with the implants, uh, or if there's just a change in the feel of your breasts, then uh, seeking uh, medical attention. Um, and then appropriate investigations uh, would be would be the way to go. Look, I, I would certainly think that seeing your surgeon who placed the implants uh, would be the first uh, port of call. Would be the best first port of call. Um, but you know, if that's not possible, then starting with your GP and then getting a referral to uh, a plastic surgeon would be appropriate.